All right, so halfway through this, I figured I probably should record it because someone might be curious about the process. So I'll catch all up to what I've done so far. All right, so I'm switching out the Overland hood, basic one with the Mojave hood. A lot of people say, why not just buy a Mojave? Why not just buy a Mojave? Well, my opinion, if you're gonna buy a Jeep and you're gonna upgrade it, you're gonna do something to it, why buy a Jeep with all the, the parts you're gonna take off when you could just start from scratch? Anyways, right here, this came off of the front, the factory overland piece. The windshield wiper blades right here, they had to come off with this tool right here. So if you don't have this tool, I recommend you buying it. It's like 20 bucks. It's pretty self-explanatory what it does. You clamp it around and hyper blades will pop right off. These are the old cows. Oddly enough, they're plastic. And the interchangeable part up right here. Uh, this piece came off of the Overland and it pops right onto the Mojave. So, yeah. I'll make sure to uh, put all the a link to all the parts and whatever. But yeah, so far it's going pretty good. This piece right here came off the Overland hood. I got this interior. It's uh, in the Jeep. And this piece so far has been interchangeable. Um, what I plan on taking as well, I'm going to undo this to move it over. Undo this to move it over. Um, and the windshield washer fluid and the last piece are those uh, little window stops so so far that's that's what I've done <coughs> and the part that was a pain was popping these off if you don't have a tool to remove the plastic poppy caps at least what I call them you just uh, get a flat tip and turn it sideways and should work well but yeah that's everything so far all right so little update the fire protection thing it sucked taking it off so i just ripped it it is what it is but the good news let me show you guys the parts that i need to take out to interchange are easily accessible so here we go there they go right here for the windshield wipers boom boom they're size eight these annoying, actually, no, they're not size eight. They are 1132. So I don't know why I, the eight looked like it would have fit perfect, but it didn't. It had some wiggle, 1132 did it just right. I guess Fiat taking over, you know? So yeah. All right, like I was telling you guys, these two pieces are four pieces, really. This is the, uh, the windshield stopper. The windshield washer jet same on the other side and the jet they're literally interchangeable from the factory overland hood so one more run through right here came off the overland off the overland i still got to move this piece over but yeah it's going beautifully Fortunately, I hope I don't run into any any headaches, but now I'm about to connect the jets and almost done. And there it goes. Connected, back through the back, connected, popped right in, literally popped right in. This could not have been an easier job. I had to get the rubber bushings for this, not bushing, the rubber gasket, I guess the word for it is. Right side, left side, which I have them in the box. And yeah, all right, so I had gotten a replacement gasket as well. I keep calling them gaskets, uh, whatever this thing is. Popped it into place. It sits a little higher than the Overland one did, but yeah, moving on. All right, up next, these little rubber things go onto the new hood and I'll show you where. Run into a little problem. So, the 
one part that isn't exactly interchangeable is this. But as you'll see, there was a, uh, there you go, focus it. There used to be a little place to hook it into place. I broke it off and it works perfect now. So let me show you how it looked on the Overland real quick. Right here. So I used to use this side anchor in there and then screw into the bottom, into that screw. You can see where the anchor would go in. But on the Mojave hood, it's a little longer and it's sideways. So I broke off the piece right there. It screws in nice and tight and it's gonna work. It's beautiful, y'all. It's beautiful. So let me uh, show you guys. Oh my God. It's coming along beautifully. All right, so moving along. Let me tell you, it's looking better and better. The few parts that were not, another one that's not interchangeable, this. I thought I would be able to use it. I really did. But this holes are like a centimeter off of the Mojave hood. So sadly it had to be replaced. But the part you can use off of this is right here. Let me show you. These bolts off the overland those bolts right there off the overland so you can definitely recycle those parts um but yeah sadly not recyclable anyways moving forward i bolted up everything it uh it's all latched on i'm about to pop the hood for the first time and let's see how it looks man oh my god oh here we go Perfect. All right. Oh, it's a lot heavier. I'll tell you that much. So hold up. Let me up. Uh, there we go. So overland, overland had to be broken to work, but off the overland. I gotta get the hood guards. Damn it to hell, I forgot those. Um, right there, that's off the overland. I know I don't have the fire thing. I don't care, it is what it is. But right here. Oh. These things. Oh, they just pop right out. There we go. Uh, got the caps. Not if I could reach that high. Hold on. Not the tallest. I'll be the first to tell you that. Uh, uh, all right, hold on. All right. Head stop. Got them both. Milk and cookies. So, the next piece that I needed from the Overland hood. I mean, not Overland Hood, my bad. Order from the Mojave are these little, uh, I don't even know what to call it. Cow protection, I guess, I don't know. But long story short, they go right over here. And they protect, or they seal off this hole because it's a nice little gap. And then, I don't know if you notice, these two, one, two. And they're going to pop right into those two holes. One, two. It's looking glorious. So the next piece I put on. So the two, the two wind protection things, I don't know what it is, what it's for, whatever, but it closes up right this point and that point makes it nice and tight. You gotta remember to reconnect the uh, windshield washer. You know, there you go and make sure on the other end raggedy people on the other end that you put this on so i have this piece right here and for the life of me i don't know where this goes 
no idea. So I might not even put it on. Well, I'll find it on a video somewhere, but yeah. Next piece. This came in with it, but it wasn't functional. They had this, I don't even know why. They had this uh, plastic, let me put that down. They had this plastic cup right behind it for it to catch air and uh, cause dry. I don't know. I'm not a scientist or nothing. Just a dude with a Jeep. So I used a butter knife, slid it in, and it just literally popped right out. It was, it's like they knew they were going to make it functional or they had a whatever. I don't know. You know what I mean? So this was it. Popped it off. Made this, but I got to go buy bolts to put it in place so yeah it's coming along beautifully all right moving on to the next piece this plastic it pissed me off because i ordered it and it came in freaking broken but fortunately you know looking for the silver lining here this whole piece is covered by uh the other part i forgot what it was called but it, it's covered so you can't even really tell so it's got these plastic caps underneath you line them up pop them back into place and also on this side too so here we go all right all right it's going beautifully so again y'all know piss me off but it is what it is you know whatever it literally lines up and it pops right into place lines up with the hood beautifully up next a part that was recycled from the Overland hood, right here. A little dirty, gotta clean it. It is what it is, I don't really care. So, this piece, literally just lines right up. Let me go and, let me pause, but yes. It lines right up. All right, here we go. So, got it lined up, lined up perfectly again. This piece came from the Overland hood. It just literally got recycled into place. It's beautiful. Ugh. So once it's lined up, it's literally here. Popping, 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 boom. There we go sandals over there and everything perfect uh, it's coming together beautifully there it goes lined up perfect and everything all right let me tell y'all something that just i just figured out man this is horrible so just about all the bolts were recyclable or reusable, let me rephrase that. Except for these two. Look at this. All right, so I'm gonna show y'all the cow. I can't believe this, man. Let me show you. So right here, as you'll see, the OG bolt from the lat from the Overland falls just short of the goal. So. In the meantime, I don't care. I am going to, actually, hold up. Yep, nope. I'm going to bolt on the cowls with these two screws and uh, right here. There we go. Perfect. Pops right into place. These little babies screw right in. Screws right in. <laughs> but I still don't got these two. Fuck my life. Oh, screw my life. My bad. My bad. Um, so yeah, there we go. All right, all said and done. Took about. I did this by myself, maybe two and a half, three hours alone. Probably would have been faster had I had the right tools, but that's life. 
This is the end result. Beautiful. Oh, so one more thing. <laughs> one more thing. Jackie Chan throwback. Um, to get this little piece on, this is what you'll need. M5.8 by 12 millimeter. Just two of them. It'll bolt right in and you're done. You're done. <laughs>